Good evening, everyone. It's Roger, and welcome to our Wednesday night watch party of Piano Mania, an evening of beloved piano concertos. Tonight, I wanted to showcase my favorite piano concertos in the repertoire. So we're going to begin the evening with a performance of Prokofiev's Piano Concerto Number no. 3, performed by Martha Argerich, and then close out the evening with Beethoven's Piano Concerto Number no. 5, performed by Yefim Bropfman. The third piano concerto by Prokofiev is his most popular concerto. As early as 1913, Prokofiev had written a theme for variations that would later become the second movement. He finished the concerto in the summer of 1921 in France, and it was Prokofiev who premiered the work as soloist with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra in 1921. Now, Prokofiev has described this piece as being devilishly difficult. There are a number of extremely challenging issues that the piano has to, the pianist has to navigate. For instance, there are these really fast upward and downward runs played by both hands. There are a number of awkward and rapid chords, as well as a number of really disjunct leaps that the pianist has to navigate. Not only that, the orchestral writing is extremely difficult. Now the orchestra is an equal partner in this concerto with the soloist. They are not mere accompaniment. So the orchestra has a number of extremely technical uh, writing in the strings, and there are a number of beautiful yet very difficult solos in the woodwind instruments as well as the brass instruments. The concerto has no explicit narrative or story but there are a number of different images and emotions that come to mind. The opening begins with the solo clarinet playing a dreamlike melody, and, this, and then it is joined by the violins and the flute, and it creates this very dreamlike atmosphere that is calm, meditative, and tranquil. However, the violins come back in and they interrupt this dream. The music becomes relentless, very rhythmic, and there is this rhythm and drive that never quite quits all the way to the end of the movement. The second movement is a set of variations, and the first variation is ballet music. It's very light. It's angular and rough, though. It's not your typical ballet music of Tchaikovsky. This is very... Um, awkward music in a way. I almost want to describe it as a, uh, a monster walking of some sort. It's not pretty. The second variation is an urgent chase between two keys that are constantly clashing. So in this case, the piano is playing very fast runs and the principal trumpet is playing the main theme. Variation three is very disjunct and syncopated and there are a number of dissonance and accents that the pianist has to punch out. Variation four is a slow meditation on the theme. It almost sounds like a Chopin nocturne, except here the harmonies are very dark and mysterious. The final variation breaks this tranquil atmosphere and the music becomes relentless once again. Uh, with lots of energy and excitement, and the piano is playing very fast arpeggios while the orchestra is building momentum and getting louder and louder. The third movement is very rhythmic in character, yet it's the second theme that is quite remarkable. The theme takes the opening theme of the movement and smooths it out so that there are these beautiful rises and falls. There are times where the harmonies are rich and complex, and there is a great deal of emotion. The music almost sounds like Rachmaninoff here. There is also one moment where the music is quasi-ritualistic, where it sounds like something from Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. This performance tonight is by one of the world's greatest living pianists, and that is Martha Argerich. What she is able to do both technically and musically on the piano is remarkable. So I hope you enjoy this performance 
of Prokofiev's Piano Concerto Number no. 3, and you will see me again at the end of the performance because I will introduce the Beethoven uh, Piano Concerto Number no. 5 to close out the evening. So I hope you enjoy it, and thanks again for joining us. See ya.